All right, so now we're actually in the area of their temple. New map. So we've, we've got our tributes, so we should be ready to go. We have our three things of poisony acid -y stuff. Hello there. So we still have our monk, right? Yeah. So we don't, we're not at risk of being attacked at the moment by theirs. Although they, they look, looks like they're all monks at the moment here, too. And since we're... I assume since we're nearing the temple itself, we're probably not at risk of running into mines all the time and stuff like that for once. Maybe. Hard to tell which way I even want to go at this point. It was already a little concerning how many mines were around in the first place. How does... Gotta wonder how anyone survives live, being around this area ever, frankly. This place sucks. Oh, nice to see you have a monk. You have a monk with there. you there, huh? That's nice. Okay. Well, we're gonna run past you guys. At this point, it's just a... Oh, okay, the map's not too big this time around, because I've already a lot crossed a lot of the area they've given for it. But you definitely just need to pick a direction and start running in it for some of the exploration. Just try to establish what the map even looks like. Some kind of fortification. This definitely looks like it's built for a battleground. Although I think most of this area is built for fights to play, take place in it, just in case you happen to make a mess of things. Why do you keep bugging us? Oh, you have a monk with you, huh? Yeah, they're just saying back off. Standard stuff. Ooh, those crates up there. Oh, well look, I actually successfully went up a ladder on my first try, and it didn't mess with me. A quick save just in case, because I'm not trying to escalate things, but previously I seemed to be allowed to just do whatever I want with these crates. Raider Gunslinger, I ain't scared of you. Let's see, ammunition? Property of the U.S. government. You guys mad at us? Nope, they don't seem to care. Because of the monk situation. Yet they're willing to fight us over the goop, of all things. Let's see, we found a lock. We could crush it, but that's a terrible hit success chance. It appears that our lock picking has outpaced our uh, our lock picking has outpaced our brute force, and then she critically failed because of course she did, because they can't seem to stop doing that. Our success rates have been abysmal in this whole. I feel like in every game I'm playing right now, there's percent chances of success, and they're never working out for me. The one game where I feel like I get lucky actually is uh is Disgaea Five actually. <laughs> Where it'll be like, you have a 20% chance of hitting, and I'll be like, I'm gonna try it anyway, and you're like, you hit him, and I'm like, wait, what? Another assault rifle. Give, give that to Sally to carry for now. Probably gonna end up dismantling that. But I don't need... And looks like I should look into that right now, actually, because she's already getting a little overburdened. Oh, we have a duplicate right there, so of course I'm dismantling it. Ooh, long barrel. Don't I have another Sabot rocket, too? Don't you have a Sabot rocket? No. Oh yeah, you have your old sniper rifle, because I wasn't sure if I wanted to delete that right away. Let's see, we can stick around for now. You guys care if we break this door at all? Huh? Any objections? I'm looking for text popping up saying, don't do that, stop it. Don't see any yet. Really, man. Come on. Really, man. Really? That's what my life is now. A critical failure. Get a 60% chance of success, and instead you, you fail and critically fail. Yeah. We got, the, we got the running theme. It looks like it might be connected to this downstairs area, though, so maybe we can just walk in through there. Let's get back on our character that, that's better at detecting mines, since she has slightly higher perception. Here we go. Still not sure what someone was talking about when they were saying, you need to use perception as a skill, because as far as I can tell, that's not on the wheel, so... That person might have been making things up. That's always an interesting part of this game, of uh, doing a Let's Play channel, is... Ooh, duct tape. That's good. Uh, you you think like, oh yeah, people just shout advice at you and you listen to it, and maybe they're dicks about it, maybe they're not. But also, some a lot of people, and I'm not even sure if this is the case or not in this person's case or not, but... uh. A lot of the advice I get is flat out wrong. People just lie about stuff or make stuff up about their own. They make assumptions the same way you would make assumptions, but then not tell you at all that, that they're making an assumption. So it looks like there's nothing down here besides that vat. Is there any reason to come up here? Nope. 
switch to someone that's still down here and let them take the lead. Everyone else can catch up. So there's nothing else to do around here. That's just another place to get more uh, juice if I needed it. So apparently there was actually quite a few options, but I outsmarted that one beauty care uh, specialist and got that from them. We'll have to keep it in mind. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe it'll come up again. Maybe there will be a reason to find more than three. Which would be problematic, because I'd probably have to fight the other people for theirs. Let's get back to our mind-detecting character. I just didn't want to deal with a ladder anymore, so I switched to somebody else. Seems reasonable to me. Anything around here? Hello. Can we talk? No. They're not the talkative type. Shit, witnesses, take him out. Oh. We're doing this one again. We're doing this one again. Alright. Alright, so this time we're going to avoid going down there, because there's clearly more of those DBM guys down there. Causing me problems. So we're, gonna ch we're just going to head up here for now. Quick save in case that happens again. <laughs> I'm trying- I'm trying to be neutral on this one, because I don't have any- ooh, Tom's key. Isn't Tom the guy we helped find the wife of or something? I think that was Tom. So I think I was calling him Suicidal Tom. SOSG. 47 to 58. Let's take a look at that one, huh? Especially since you're over encumbered and can't move. <laughs> yeah, 33 to 40 versus... Um... More. <laughs> 41 to 48. Let's compare this directly. So... Is this the right weapon? It's not the right weapon. There we go. So... Wait, wait a second, is this other weapon better than that, than that one? Oh, she already had a better shotgun in her inventory that I think I picked up and forgot to switch to. Alright. Let's go and equip that one real quick, and then I'll compare the new weapon to that. So compared to the SOSG, uh, compared to the pump action, which we haven't even used yet, the SOSG does about 10 more damage, or specifically 6 to 10 more damage. Same hit, same crit, same jam. Less range, but it's a shotgun, so it's not a, bit a primary concern. Round capacity... Oh, it costs less AP. So it really nails it on the, uh, on the AP efficiency standpoint. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that new shotgun. Primary. And we're going to... Dismantle this one. Ten- wow, ten broken weapon parts. We got a bonus, apparently. Is what it's saying. And we're going to open this thing up, and we're going to take its mod out. The choke. There we go. 100% success rate. That was good news. Then field strip that one. 13 weapon parts. Awesome. Long barrel. 6 range, 5 optimal range, 6 chance to hit. Wow. What's it usable on? Pistols, SMGs, assault rifles, sniper rifles. So basically everything but a shotgun. Interesting. Well, and no, no shotguns, no energy weapons. Alright. What do you currently have on your gun? So I did give you a mod. Oh, you don't have a barrel mod? You only have a scope mod. This is a totally this is a totally new mod for you. Of course I'm gonna give it to you. You're my hilariously effective, like, primary damage dealer. I'm willing to make that keep going. Where are you? There you go. Gustavo Molotov. Scary ass motherfucker. From the very beginning, he was set to be my di primary damage dealer, big scary character. Did I put on the wrong weapon? 44 to 58. 68 to 83. Okay, so yeah. At this point, I can take this one off. It's got a scope. I'm confident I'm not going to use this anymore. What? No, remove mod. My bad. Wrong button. And just to double check, this is a 44 to 58. What is my other character using? Probably the same weapon, right? No. 31 to 44. Let's go ahead and throw that one over to her, then. There we go. Looks like you're about to get an upgrade of your own. There you go. So this thing has a few items on it, right? No, not field strip. Mods. You have a scope. 100%. Good. And a magazine. 
I'm gonna remove that too. We should be good to restrip this one now. A lot of broken weapon parts there too. All right. So your your weapon over here. Let's see. Is there a? So we do have nothing for that slot. Okay. So you're fully upgraded. Let's look into this weapon over here. Wrong character. We have our new sniper rifle, which is the one that he was using before. Let's go ahead and get some mods for it. I realize I could have not replaced the other one previously. Plus three maximum range. Why is it saying that it's owned by different people? Oh, the mods are in someone else's inventory. Okay. Three maximum range, absolutely. Chance to jam and capacity versus just... Oh, just chance to jam. All right, we, definitely the capacity one. Whoa. They're excited about how many mods I've done, apparently. Any barrel mods left? Short barrel. Bonus chance to hit reduced range. Not... Not good for that. I'm happy about the increased range of sniper rifles. This thing has a range of 30. Did I switch to a lower range sniper rifle without checking? What's this thing's range? 39. Nope, still got great range. And I think that's even before this... It's a little hard to see from here, but I think that's even before the barrel mod. Yeah, this thing has crazy range. We're pretty set up at the moment. Quick save for the sake of inventory management not being redone. What do we got here? More generics. Yeah, right down there is where all those guys are gathering to cause a mess. I'm trying to be neutral here and just sort of see how the story naturally plays out. Primarily just because in a... Very much how I often played in real role played in Witcher. In this context, I just... I haven't been given a, a lot of specific reason to side with one side or the other. I haven't had much re in, in particular, one of them's just an attacking force. And the other one... Uh... We haven't been given specific... Like, they, like they've reached out to me to try to work with me, but also... We haven't been given a lot of reason to trust the monks, or want them to succeed, necessarily. Because, like, oh yeah, they give you safe passage, right? No, they... Not really. They kind of create a horrible power struggle where people can just buy the right to have the free right to just raid people. As you've noticed here, there's only a handful of normal villagers, but tons and tons of raiders using the monk services, so... I think they're, they're mostly probably a, a force for bad. Anyway, Dale over here's got a name, so he's probably important. Hey bros, can you help me out? I need a miracle. A shaggy, shabby guy in a tie-dyed shirt and fringed leather jacket. He's wearing a wide-brimmed cowboy hat and carrying a filthy backpack. As you get close, he approaches, smiling. He seems nice enough, but the guy is definitely on something. He's sweating and jittery. Thanks for, st thanks for stopping, bros. Listen, I seriously need a miracle. My, f my girl, Betty Sue, is about to give birth to our baby back in Demonta. I gotta get their sa to their safe zone with her. Trouble is, I ain't got the tribute the monks are asking for. They're demanding I get some crazy radioactive goop. Any chance you got a spare and can help out? I can totally make it worth your while once you get inside the temple. How would they make you get sludge if you're a tra just a traitor? Or why would they? Hey man, I don't know. I guess they're pissed uh, that I'm always getting lost and separating from my escort when I come through. I'm just absent-minded, you know? Betty May's the smart one in the family. Smartass. You didn't call your your wife Betty May before. I... I didn't? I must... I must be sunbaked or something, man. You know what... you know what it's like, right? Out in the waste, traveling? Sometimes your head gets all fuzzy. Yeah. Oh yeah? Doesn't seem like he's... Seems like he's lying to me. So who's Betty Sue? My old lady. Sunshine of my life. She's about to pop, if you know what I mean. And I want to get it back to the... the, to the for the blessed event. So you've heard of Demonta. Yeah, Demonta's the settlement on the far side of Titan Canyon. Me and my chick got a shack that way. And I really gotta get back there. We could give them goop, but they're clearly lying to us. If only I could ask about that. This is, uh, is there nowhere to go with this? My concern is if I give them the goop, do I then not have a canister in the first place? Like if I give them, if I give away the canister, I can't give them more goop. 
Let's maybe avoid for now. Later. This is not mad at us at the moment. I could always talk to him later if need be. But uh, at the moment I'm thinking like, what if I don't have a canister? Then I can't collect the sample and then I have to what, shoot my way through the other entrance with the DM, the DM, the, down the cat, freaking, not the cat people, the snake people, I keep forgetting the, oh, Diamondback Militia, there we go. Oh, I see you have a monk with you, that's nice. You guys gonna attack us? Are we free to go past your creepy lion? Oh yeah, they're just they're just here to block off uh, people that they want to raid, so I can just walk through. It looks like we're coming back. That, that's, I think that upward ramp's gonna lead to the temple. What's down here? A little camp? Or maybe this is the temple. Hard to tell from here. The terrain's a little crowded. Oh yeah, that's the temple. That's absolutely the temple. Let's check around first. That guy farted. All right, there's a lock on here. Don't fail me now. I want to dig a hole. See what kind of loot we can rip out. Yummy, yummy. All right. Get in there. With your jittery shovel. Look at it vibrate. That's weird. Uh, it's junk. It's another one of those hearts that referenced the Kickstarter. Anything else? That's a dead end. Howdy, folks. Oh, I can't go there. I'm getting... I was getting stuck. Oh, hello. I'm just saving here and there in case I stumble into an actual problem. Although they're just cowboys, apparently. And lo oh, and a monk lobber. Yeah, it's a bunch of, uh... It looks, sounds like it's a bunch of cowboys farting and burping in a circle or something, which is... You know what? You do you, I guess. The safe... has a lock. These people are probably even less likely to attack me, because it doesn't seem that they... Our raiders, they're just kind of here, hanging out by the camp, where they're probably safe-ish? Red shoulder pads. Another item to sell, and not much mel not much else. I'm definitely quick saving before I go up that ramp, because I don't know if I'm going to wander directly into that other party. Or not. They're a little hard to recognize, honestly. Before we accidentally stumble into the fight itself. Hello, you. Oh no, he's got my face! Reckon I'm glad to meet you, Rangers. Name's Taggart. I'm the foreman of these ruminating roughnecks here. We just dropped off about ten head of cattle in Demonta, stopping here to res resupply. If you got anything you want to put up for trade, I have a few odds and ends you might be interested in. You cattlemen, do you know Jill and her crew? Reckon I do. Work with them from time to time. Saw her come by on her way to Demonta not too long ago. Doc looked worst for wear, but on the mend. Hope they get a uh, good take on those cows to make up for their trouble. Reckon you'll like what you see. We're gonna trade. Ah, that's a bunch of hats and shit that are worth no stats and some beer. Oh well. I can sell all my junk, which was apparently a lot. Wow. I was stocking up, wasn't I? Is there anything else I'd want to sell, really? I figure junk's pretty much my go-to, because everything else is useful for something. Wow, I'm, get, I'm starting to get a lot of these guys. I'm gonna have to start throwing them into... Gonna have to start throwing those into the uh, storage back at base. Just to deal with the fact that there's so much of it. Alright. We got to offload our garbage, at least. So now I'm gonna check out this ramp. Definitely quick saving. Just because I don't know if I'm gonna watch... I'm gonna run back into the Diamondbacks or not. I'm trying not to trigger those fights to see where that goes on its own. But they don't always make it easy for me by attacking me on sight. Because I am using a monk escort, and they attack those on sight. Although, I'm not entirely convinced they wouldn't attack you regardless. Looks like this leads around the reverse side. Oh yeah, that's the line of guys. So this is the direction I didn't go in yet. Hello. So you have a monk with you, that's right. Holy crap, how long would it take to fight your way through this area if you didn't have a monk with you? You'd have to fight all of these guys. Hello, you. Buck dingies? Something like that? Just one more swig, then I'm off. Glug, glug, glug. Can I inspect him? No? There we go. Skinny as a skeleton and obviously sloshed on the snake squeezins, the old man sits on the ground with a hefty piece of artillery. A frail old drunk carrying a bomb that size? No way. That thing's gotta be a fake. 
More fools on their way to pay tribute to the god who isn't there. Ha. I ain't talking to no one with a damn monk following him around. Buzz off. Ah. He doesn't want to talk to us? Can I select NPCs with this? Brother, I can only I can only heal the monk if I want to. Alright, so he doesn't want to talk to anyone with, with a monk. We can at least dig up this pile over here. Alright. Duct tape again? Cool. This definitely seems to have somewhat of a binary design to it where you definitely get a different experience based on if you choose to have a monk with you the whole time or if you fight your way with the DBM and then be able to talk to certain characters that are only willing to discuss things with you if you don't have a monk. Let's see, any warnings happening as I come across here? Nope. Oh, and there's more goop. And doesn't seem like anything else is here. Alright. At that point then, I'm gonna say let's go right back to the camp. So it looks like I didn't have to worry too much about how much goop I was gonna have at this stage of the mission. Because there's two of them that are really easy to access right up here. So finding three down there was a bonus, basically. Uh, it's only time will tell whether, uh... I don't know, maybe I'll need more at some point. Maybe that's why there's so many of them. R Brother Roy Parsons. You've reached the Temple of Titan, Rangers. Your long journey through the canyon has ended. Thanks, I'm sure. To Brother uh, Shapino's Gardens. But first, I will need to take your tribute before I can allow you to enter the temple. You do have what you promised, don't you? Should I just warn them about the militia? Huh. At this point, I've sided with them so much, maybe I should just turn in the Diamondback Militia and just pick a side. Let's see. Let's talk about the tribute. Oh, yeah? Do you have what was asked of you? If you came up short, you might find yourself in big trouble. Would we be in trouble? Would they attack us? Or would they just say, go away and come back later? <laughs> No, you're in trouble, motherfucker! No, that's not what I'm doing, but that's not the response I was expecting. I thought that they just would ask... I thought they were just gonna ask me about... Like, I would just ask about what kind of trouble I'd be in. We're still short on sludge? What? Oh, wait, you, you can say that even when you're not short. Weird. Let's see. Well, yeah, we have the sludge. Here you go. Well done, Rangers. You complete the task we set this for you. Is the temple? Doesn't look like much. Please enter the Temple of Titan. Those guys just keep farting in the corner over there. It's just a non-stop stream of text. You complete the task we set for you. Yep. Alright. We're good. Is do we still have a we still have a monk, don't we? Following us around to keep us safe? Be a bit of a downside if we lost him. Just taking a quick look around. Can I walk behind the wall the wall over here? No. Nah. I just feel like there'd be a little rubble pile or something to explore around. Nope, these are all invisible walls. You can't go past that point. Alright. Howdy, y'alls. You got anything you're hiding from me? I'd like to know. Because apparently I like to steal things. You know what? Let's do a mechanical repair. Oh, you're already at maximum power. Okay. Good to check. I didn't know if we had, uh taken unrepaired damage. There is a- there is definitely something up there. Let's head on up. If I can get my character to use the ladder. There we go. Whoa, okay. A little hard to tell who you're controlling sometimes. Hello? Just ammunition? I'll take it. Now everyone slowly go back down. Yay! It's exciting. Let's see. No, I, I kind of want to see the DBM succeed, so maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just go ahead and not warn them and see what happens. Because these... I don't like these guys. This entire organization is really shady and creepy. I cannot leave the canyon with you, Rangers. If you continue toward Demanta, I will remain here. If you need to re-enter the Canyon of Titan, I can rejoin you. Okay, so now he doesn't come with us anymore. Let's check my inventory. Okay, all of my buckets are gone. So I have no more canisters. So I can't get more goop. 
So if I give that guy a goop, I'd probably be in trouble. Let's see, this map looks like it expands for a while on this side. Am I all safe on this side? Maybe I'll just continue towards Demonta. I imagine I'll have to come back through this passage again when I'm done with Demonta, at which point we might find out what happened. And maybe the DBM has taken over. Very tidy. Over. Very clean. I approve. Uh, oh, that was Pazepi. The doctor, Dr. Baum says, oh, this is hopeless. Where did I find my spec- where did I put my spectacles? Dr. Baum is squinting myopically at a clipboard while his glasses sit on top of his head. Eh? Who's that? I... Sorry. Have you seen a pair of spectacles by any chance? They're on your head. Oh, my? Oh, this is embarrassing. Now then, that's better. Let's have a look at you. Oh, rangers! You surprised to see us? We don't get that many of you around here. Uh, well, none te technically. Uh, actually. But I remember the rangers from when I was growing up out west. Short-tempered, if I remember correctly. Always shooting things up and getting yourself shot. No end of experience w uh, as I was learning my trade, that was for sure. This will be just like old times. What seems to be the problem, ranger? Oops, accidentally switched characters. Uh, what's your name? Oh, uh, I'm Dr. Baum. And no, it's not Baum as in Boom, nor... Is it Balm as in Gilead? It's Balm, B-A-U-M, sorry. Balm? That almost did, he almost didn't actually help me pronounce it anymore. I guess they're all pronounced, I, I guess his, his mean that it, he means that it's pronounced Balm, but it's spelled that way as in not like a bomb. Anyway, sorry, I find it's best to get that out of the way right up front. Everyone asks, now, uh, what was it you needed? I'm wounded, can you heal me? That, that's just a scratch, not worth the cost of bandages. Go have a drink and forget it. Anything else? Friendly, friendly doctor here. We found some contact lenses a while back. Wanna try them out? Well, it seems unlikely they'd be my prescription, but it's not like I've ever gotten to visit an ophthalmo ophthalmologist anyway. Let's see. What do you know? They do the trick. These will make it so much easier for me to do my work. Here, take this as a sign of my thanks. We got a... 68W Advanced Individual Training Manual. Uh, I'll, it'll help you keep your guts on the inside of the field. Alright, so that I believe the contact lenses were a toaster item from repairing a toaster. I think all of those are like basically like weird side quest items that can help you unlock specific things with specific NPCs if you find who needs them. We just kind of stumbled into this one. <laughs> we are here for Dr. Kyle's special services. I see, very good. Then we must head down into the temple. Are you ready to go? Um, sure, why not? Well, then follow me, I'll lead you to her this way. See how this goes. I, I guess there's the, op the opportunity to cybernetically enhance someone. Customers for you, very uh, more conventional methods. Oh, I see. Thank you, Brother D Dr. Baum. Hello, I'm Sister Dr. Sidney Kyle, the head surgeon here at T Temple Hospital. We can certainly discuss my special services. I'll leave you to it then. Good luck, friend. I'm always not quite ready for those cutscenes because I'm so used to manually forwarding the text that I'm cut off guard when it's like, no, we're doing it now at our own pace. Now, where were we? She also wears glasses. Oh yes, you're interested in acquiring a prosthetic limb. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. Though I am the leading, perhaps the only, prosthetic surgeon in the ways, and would normally be happy to help anyone who had need of one, I'm afraid I have a firm policy of not augmenting desert rangers. Why do you have that policy? It's nothing personal, but I have had, uh, difficulties with Desert Rangers before. They didn't like that I was willing to give new limbs to anyone, regardless of allegiance or faction, and they chased me out of Arizona. I don't want them hunting me down if they find out I gave you a new arm or leg, I'm sorry. Which Rangers ca chased you out of Arizona? I'm afraid I didn't stop to ask their names. Where'd you learn this prosthetic surgery? I found some ancient knowledge in an old government facility in Arizona. Everything was explained. How to make the limbs, how to attach them, how to power them. I am fortunate that I had enough uh, learning to understand the basic techniques. 
And from there, it was just trial and error until I got it right. Trial and error, that's a great thing to hear about prosthetics. Well, since you can't give us new limbs, maybe you could share some of that knowledge instead. I don't know that I'm much of a teacher. The techniques are very complicated and a, and a little and little documented. If they're little documented, then there then there is some documentation. Anything we could look at? Huh. Uh, why not? I've committed the text to memory. That's so neural net processor manual. All right. I've committed the text to man memory, so, so I don't really need it with me. You can use it to spread the word of the benefits of prosthesis. Here you go. How are the limbs powered? A battery implanted in the chest. It converts heat and movement of the from the body into electrical, into electricity, which then powers the limbs. Interestingly, more people are frightened of having the battery installed than they are of getting the new limb. But I assure you, it's perfectly safe. I'm sure it is. How could it not be? It's just a weird manual manual battery that somehow gets energy from your body in your chest. What do you know about the facility? I'm afraid I never knew the name of it, and I don't remember the exact location, but it was filed... It was filled with old and broken robots, and much knowledge. You don't remember anything about the place that taught you your life's work? Well, I could tell you a little about the lab, and the living quarters, but I don't remember which uh, much about the exterior except for the door that had been blown open, and I'm afraid I don't think I could find a way back there again. It was a long time ago. Alright, then tell us about the lab. It was very well equipped, and seemed to be entirely dedicated to the research and production of next generation robots. It had a huge mainframe computer as well, but it looked like someone had shot to pieces. Tell us about the living quarters. Not much to tell, I'm afraid. All very bland and functional, although there was evidence that someone had lived there for a while, after the apocalypse. Someone from some place called Darwin. All their clothes had labels that read, Property of Darwin Village. Ah! Direct ties to Pazepi then, and his and her people. Uh, we're interested in your special services. I told you before, I have a firm policy of not augmenting Desert Rangers. I cannot help you. Well, that's all we get there. I could learn so much from her. What skill she has. Speaking of learning things, let's take a look around and try to find those manuals we got. Which... Rather concerningly, could be virtually anywhere, because they just dump you and so they dump them in someone's inventory. Oh, field medic skill. If I transfer that over to her, that'd be handy, because that means that she can just learn that skill right away. I think the other one was probably a surgery upgrade, right? Bedroll pack. Neo Geo skinny jeans. I'm looking for a new icon, but I have to also read the text on the left side because if I highlight it, it instantly stops being listed as new. Problematically. Ship in a bottle. Other stuff. Oh crap. Oh, is that it? Nope. Angry management for angry managers. I'm looking for books. Maybe they're both in our inventory now. Field medic skill? What's our current skill at now? Oh yeah, it's only at five. Yeah, it's, it's hard to keep track of all these, keep up with all these skills, so it's handy to be able to upgrade it more. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, specifically to you, Dolores. I always get caught off guard by the, by the fact that the, you can use a book on someone else, just because I, I would assume when you go on, when you go into your inventory and you click on it, I would just assume that you have you're using it on yourself by default. I think most players would probably think of that computer science skill. All right, number one computer science person. Who is that? Is it me? It is me. Wow, my computer science will be at seven. I'll go for it. There we go. I do understand that on a conceptual level, both in this game's case and also from like skill books sometimes in various Fallout games that. The 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 most efficient way of using them would be to wait until you're level nine with that skill and then use the skill book because that purchase of that skill is technically worth the most, but the trade-off is that that extra point of skills 
could lead to me being able to do a bunch of stuff in the next few hours that I couldn't do otherwise if I didn't have that skill point there. And waiting to the last rank, trying to wait for the last rank of everything has the probably false assumption that you're actually going to max out every skill, which generally games aren't designed that way. Please make your way back to the surface. You're not allowed in any other parts of the facility. I, I'm probably going to get in... Yeah, let's, let's leave. There's so many people warning me to leave right now. <laughs> that I'm just going to get out of here before someone shoots me. Alright, so we got two things that give extra skills to my character that's most about having different skills. That's handy. Surgeon item. Good news all around. Alright. Anything down here? A hat. No one's even chastising me for grabbing things. Alright. We think we're relatively good to go. That was eventful. We learned about prosthetic stuff. We learned about a location we should be investigating. Uh, we co this episode we covered this entire region, actually. Uh, and I got two skill books to level up skills on my skill-based character, so that her, uh... Honestly, her, her skill screen is getting impressively filled in at this point. And it scrolls a little bit. With her weakest skill being toaster repair, but Pazepi's taking over that a little bit. And shotguns, which, you know, I barely even shoot with this character, but just, I have it there as an option, because damn! Did we learn in Hypool that it's bad to have too many characters without weapons. Although, to be fair, it seems like Hypool was balanced around having Angela death with you, and I did not have her with me. So I kind of made it artificially harder by not having found that character. But it, it happens, and I beat it. Oh, weird. These things aren't in order. Huh. These things must be sorted by your default number of points you have, and the bonus doesn't quite apply or something, because it's not... Safe cracking is, is listed as being higher than field medic. Interesting. Oh, it's because the number of dots it has is how many points I've put into it, but the number is how many points she has effectively based on some sort of equipment or bonus she has. And it's just staggering things weird. Alright guys, thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time where we'll finish checking this little area out. It'll probably be over relatively soon, and then we'll finally head towards Demonta, that place that we're supposed to be heading towards for the main storyline, and I get the feeling that once we get back from that, probably have to make a return trip through here, because this game doesn't really have a fast travel. Ooh, water. Hang on a second. Good to find that. Uh, I get the feeling that when we come back through here, time will probably have passed, and I think the... I think that that militia may have taken over by then. We'll have to see. It'll be interesting. Thanks for watching like always. I'll see you next time.